Hi guys and welcome to Grey Edge. In this video we are going to see some key new features and enhancements made in Revit Structure 2023. So listed here in front of you are some key new features and enhancements. Let's start with the first feature which is Adaptive Propagation of Rebar. Now in the previous versions of Revit we had seen that whenever we had to place the rebars in different elements having same rebar settings then in that case we had to copy the rebars in those different elements. But from Revit Structure 2023, we have been provided with a Propagate Rebar tool that allows us to place rebars in different elements together. So let's just check this out. So I'll just switch to this structural model over here where we can see that there are certain rebars that have been placed in this footing here. Let's just try and place the same rebars in this footing here as well. So I'll just start off by selecting these rebars. So I'll just try and make a window selection over here. Now once the rebars have been selected, I can come to the ribbon where under the host panel we will find the propagate rebar tool. So I'll just click on this tool here. We are now provided with two options. One is aligned by host and the other is aligned by face. So we can just choose from any of these options as per our requirement. As of now, I'll just select aligned by host option here. Now Revit will ask us to select the source host so we can select this footing here. As of now since it is already selected it is asking us to select the destination host. So I'll just come to this footing over here and select it as the destination host. And here we can see that Revit just places the rebar in this footing here. I'll just click on finish to complete the process. Let's now just move on and place the same rebars in this footing here as well. So again, I'll first make the selection of the rebar. So I'll just make a window selection of these rebars here. I'll just select the left rebars as well. Now once the rebars are selected, again I'll just come to the ribbon where under the host panel, again I'll click on propagate rebar tool. This time around, I'll just select align by face option here. Now here Revit is asking us to select the source face. So for this footing, I'll select one of the faces here. So I'll just select this face here. It is now asking us to select the destination face. So I'll just come to this footing here and select this face over here as well. And again, we can see that Revit has just placed the rebars in this footing here. I'll just click on finish. Now over here again, we can notice that the rebars have also adapted themselves according to the changes in the shape or the size of the destination element. So in this case, it is this footing over here. Now let's just move on to the next feature which is the solid rebar representation in 3D views. Now in previous versions of Revit after placing the rebars we had to select the rebar, go to the rebar visibility settings and tick on show as solid option to show rebars in solid form in different views. But again from Revit structure 2023 this is now controlled by the detail level tool in the view control toolbar. Let's check this out as well. So I'll again just come to the same structural model over here where I'll just select these rebars here. I'll come to their properties over here where I'll scroll down and come to the view visibility states parameter where I'll just click on edit. And here in this dialog box we can see that the show as solid option has been done away from this dialog box or it has been removed from this dialog box. I'll just click on OK. I'll come to the view control toolbar where in this detail level I'll just switch the detail level to medium here and this just shows our rebar in the wireframe form. I can then just come back to the fine detail level once again and this will show the rebars as solid. So whenever we have to show our rebars as solid we can just keep our detail level as fine. Now moving on I'll just select this footing here, right click on it, come to override graphics in view option here where I'll just select the by element option. I'll just reduce the transparency back to zero so that we are able to see our footing as a solid. Now I'll just select the rebars inside this footing so again I'll just make a window selection here. Once done, I'll just come to the filter in this ribbon and I'll just do away with the structural foundations here so that I'm able to select only the rebars. I'll again just come to its parameters where again in the view visibility states parameter, I'll just click on edit. Now over here, we have been provided with this view unobscured option over here. So for the 3D view, I'll just tick this option on and I will just click on OK. So now we can see our rebars through the footing over here. 
so whenever we want to just see our rebars through any particular element we can just make use of that view unobscured option present in the visibility states of these rebars let's now just move on and let's see the next feature which is related to the new workflow for structural analysis i'll again just come back to the same structural model now in the previous versions of revit whenever we used to create a physical model revit used to create the analytical model automatically but again from revit structure 2023 this feature or this option has been done away with so if i'll just come to the analytical model view over here we can see that there is no analytical model created here now this just gives us the freedom to create the analytical model as per our requirement and it will also ease out the process to take the analytical model into any analysis software and do the analysis so let's see how we can just create our analytical model so for this we have been provided with certain tools which we can make use of so for that i'll just come to the analyze tab and here we have this analytical automation tool which just allows us to create the analytical model automatically now this tool consists of certain dynamo scripts we can just run those dynamo scripts and the analytical model will be created automatically let's see how it works so i'll just click on this analytical automation tool over here which will just open a dialog box now in this dialog box we have two dynamo scripts one is related to creating a physical model from an analytical model and the other is related to creating an analytical model from the physical model so since the physical model is already created here let's just try and create the analytical model from that physical model here so i'll just run this script over here now it is asking me to select the physical element so i'll just come back to the 3d view over here I'll just click on select over here and I'll select the entire model here. I'll come to the filter and I'll just do away with the elements that are not required here. So I'll just do away with the rebars and click on okay. Now once the appropriate elements have been selected, I can just move on and run this script here. Now once the run is complete we can just go through this list of the different analytical members that have been created over here. Also I will just switch back to the analytical model view and here we can see that the analytical model for the structure has been created over here. We can now just move on and make any changes that are required to this model as per our requirement. I'll just close this dialog box as of now. I'll again just come to the analyze tab and here in the structural analytical model panel we have been provided with the different tools which which we can just make the changes to this analytical model here. So we have been provided with the analytical link tool over here with which we can just create the links between different beams or the columns. Also we have the member tool and the panel tool with the help of which we can just create an analytical member or an analytical panel so i'll just switch back to the structural model physical view over here where i'll just open the first floor floor plan view over here or the structural plan view over here and i'll just create a structural beam here so i'll come to the structure tab take the beam tool and i'll just randomly create a beam here Now once the beam is created let's just now move on and add an analytical member to this beam over here so for this again i'll just come back to the analyze tab and over here i can make use of this analytical member tool here before that i'll just set the work plane where i just want to create that that analytical member so for that i'll come to the work plane panel open the set drop down select pick a plane option and i'll just select the center line of this beam here i'll come to the section view and here i can create the analytical member so i'll just take the analytical member tool and create the analytical member right at the center of this beam over here so this just creates the analytical member in the view over here so i can move back to the analytical model and here we can just check for the analytical member that has been created over here 
Now moving on, I'll again just come back to the 3D view over here. And let's just check out the other tools as well. So for this, I'll just open the first floor analytical view over here. Again, in the analyze tab, I'll open this panel drop down where we have this panel by boundary. So if I just want to create an analytical model for a floor, I can just make use of this tool here. So I'll just select this and let's just try and create an analytical floor in this portion of the model here. So I'll just create the boundary here. Once done, I can just adjust for the boundary and then I'll just click on finish and this just creates an analytical surface over here in the analytical view. Similarly, moving on, I'll again just come back to the first floor analytical model and here Again, I'll come to the Analyze tab. I'll open the panel drop down. This time around, I'll just select the panel by extrusion and I'll just create an extrusion over here. So this just allows us to create the analytical model for the walls here. So for this, again, I can come back to the analytical model 3D view over here. And here we can see that we have been able to create that analytical member for the wall over here. Now let's just move on and check the other features. So the next feature over here is for the library based connection design automation. Now to check this out, I'll just switch to this steel structural model that is created over here. And here I'll just try and place certain connections for this structural members here. So for this, I'll just come to the structure tab where in the connection panel, we have these connection tools. So we already know how we can make use of this tool to add the connections here. In Revit Structure 2023, we have been provided with this connection automation tool over here. Now this tool consists of certain Dynamo scripts, which we can again make use of to quickly add the connections in our model. So let's see how this works. So I'll just click on connection automation tool over here, which will again open this dialog box over here, where we can see the different scripts related to the different connections that we can place in our model over here. So as per our requirement, we can select the appropriate script, run it and the appropriate connection will be placed in our model. So as of now, let's just try and place a base plate at the base of this column over here. So for this, I'll just select the base plate script over here. So I'll just run this script. Now again, over here, it is asking us to select the element for which we have to just place that base plate. So I'll just click on select here and I'll select this column over here. I can come down to this fourth point over here, which is asking us to select the connection that we want to place. So over here, I'll just select this base plate option here and I can then just run this script. So this just quickly adds the connection or the base plate at the base of this column over here. Now, before making use of these scripts, one thing that we need to keep in mind is that the analytical model for this physical model should be already created there. So these scripts will only work when the analytical model has been already created. Let's now just move on and let's just try and place one connection over here as well. So I'll just try and place a clip angle connection over here. So I'll just click on back over here and I'll select the script to place the clip angle beam to column connection here. So I'll just run this script. Again, it will ask us to select the element. So I'll just select both these elements over here. I can then just come down and select the connection that I just want to place. So over here, I'll just scroll down and select the clip angle option here. And then again, I'll just run this script to place the clip angle connection over here. So whenever we have a very large model in which we have to place large number of connections, we can very well make use of these Dynamo scripts to quickly place the connections in our model. As of now, let's just now move on and check the last feature, which is related to the displaced rebar representation. Now for this, again, I'll just switch back 
to this structural model here where we'll just concentrate on this beam here and here we can see that there's an extra rebar that has been placed at the bottom of this beam. I'll just cut a section through this beam here. So I'll just close these views as of now and I'll just open the related section over here. Now here in this section we can see that that extra rebar is not visible over here. Now just for representation purpose if in this view I just want to show that particular rebar here then in that case what I can do is I can just select that rebar so I'll just switch back to the 3D view and I'll just quickly select that rebar that has been placed here. I'll just switch back to the section view over here. I can now come to the view panel here where I'll just click on displace elements tool that has been given over here and I can just displace this rebar to show it or to move it a little bit up. So this is only for the representation purpose. Actually the rebar will be placed at the same location. Once this is done, I can again just select this rebar. I can come to the path option over here and I can just show the path from where that rebar has been just moved. So I can just show this over here and I'll just show it over here as well. So we can just show the path for the displaced element as well. So these are the different features that have been added in Revit Structure 2023.